Matthew says, can we get Kyle to go to Georgia Tech and steal some plays from the triple option, the wishbone offense, and have Trey Trey and other Debo or Brandon? I just think they need one more Trey. If they had three Trey's, a tray of a tray, I mean, that would be amazing. They got two. That's that's pretty cool. Do you think they did it on purpose? Do you think they were like, hey, we're going to get another tray? It's fake. We're going to get another no. tray. Two trays. Two trays? Well, I do. Like that? I actually think this wishbone idea is funny because I, I, I actually think we – I don't think we'll see like, you know, the triple option or wishbone, but I think we are going to see some really, really cool stuff when Trey Lance plays this year with the run game because yeah. he's pretty spectacular as a runner. Sermon's kind of special in his own way. Mostert's still a home run hitter. Wilson's got something to him, and then we know how great Debo is. So, yeah. And remember that Mike McDaniel theoretically has been promoted – from run game coordinator to offensive coordinator. If he has more creative input on the offense, he might just geek out and take this run game to whole different levels, which would be cool because I think he's the kind of guy who could, he's one of the more interesting unheralded coaches in the league. He might be the brains behind the operation in San Francisco. I give the Shanahan's credit for their play action game. It's great. But this run game that they have in San Francisco is very different from what Mike was doing. And yeah, they might take it a level above. Yeah, and I think it might be this guy, Mike. I, so we'll see what he's got this year. I think I, I think that it's Kyle, but I think that by from all accounts and Grant, I th- I think you would attest this to this. You would attest to this too. Everybody says that there's something genius about Mike McDaniel in terms of coming up with this run game. So I mean, he's the one who went to Yale, and I think that McDaniel and Shanahan have been working together like every year except for one or two. They've been. That's been his right man, hand man to use a, a, a dated Star Trek reference. If Shanahan's Captain Kirk, McDaniel might be Spock. He might be the the, the the genius behind the whole thing. The thing about him is he looks 11. He's not. He's, he's Shanahan's age. He looks 11. And I don't know that an ownership group will look at him as a potential head coach one day. Although maybe they're missing out. It's like, you know, Mike, Mike Shanahan's about five foot four. That's something you don't know about Mike Shanahan. He's tiny. I don't know where is Kyle he Shanahan actually got five foot four. I, he looks like it, man. He's tiny. I heard he really? wore lifts when he was a when he was a coach, so he would look taller. He's so small. Really, I did super not super duper that. small. Yeah, he's like Tom Cruise small. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow. So yeah. yeah, but yeah, I think together, I think together, they're like the two. Yeah. Run. I think they're the two truly special run game guys out of all of them. And I think they're super competitive with Greg Roman. Who's been taking the like the crown the last few years because his offense ran for three thousand yards last yeah, year? Yeah, they're better than him in the run game. Yeah, they're better. Well, I mean, they really commit to it, and the Niners. Yeah. It's hard to say what they want to do. And this this year, I think it's clear what they want to do. They want to take the crown on on the ground, and I think they can if they get Trey Lance in there quickly. Right, and yeah. and I think I think one of the things that people get upset when you talk about this, like, is it it it's as if you're diminishing Trey Lance as a passer. Well, no, first of all, he's still a really talented passer, and he still could be a very very good passer. There's just a little more inconsistencies, yeah. and there's a little more time than he needs for growth. But in terms of his running, like, that's not a bad. I don't know why there's a taboo with talking about the rushing ability of a quarterback. Like, crap, Cam Newton's not a good quarterback. Let's only look at him by his passing stats. Well. The 13 rushing touchdowns he gives you yearly count for something. Steve, hey, when Steve Young was running for 500 yards a season, Niner fans liked it. I was looking at a stat the uh, yesterday. Steve Young, when he was 37, ran for like 600 yards and six touchdowns. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got Jimmy Garoppolo, who stuck at like 114 yards for his career. I'm really looking forward to Trey Lance. It's time that we get a, a mobile guy back. 